Welcome to Day 88 of our One-Year Bible Reading Plan. Today, we'll read 1 Samuel chapters 22 through 24. Before you begin, remember that it helps to establish a daily reading time. Begin with a short prayer, asking the Holy Spirit for wisdom and understanding. Always read for understanding and to hear from God. Not just to finish today's reading. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to bless someone else. Now let's begin. 1 Samuel chapter 22, verse 1. David therefore departed from there, and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And when his brothers and all his father's house heard it, they went down there to him. And everyone who was in distress, everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was discontented gathered to him. So he became captain over them, and there were about four hundred men with him. Then David went from there to Mizpah of Moab, and he said to the king of Moab, Please let my father and mother come here with you till I know what God will do for me. So he brought them before the king of Moab, and they dwelt with him all the time that David was in the stronghold. Now the prophet Gad said to David, Do not stay in the stronghold. Depart and go to the land of Judah. So David departed and went into the forest of Hereth. When Saul heard that David and the men who were with him had been discovered, now Saul was staying in Jabeah under a tamarisk tree in Ramah, with his spear in his hand, and all his servants standing about him. Then Saul said to his servants who stood about him, Hear now, you Benjamites, will the son of Jesse give every one of you fields and vineyards, and make you all captains of thousands and captains of hundreds? All of you have conspired against me, and there is no one who reveals to me that my son has made a covenant with the son of Jesse, and there is not one of you who is sorry for me, or reveals to me that my son has stirred up my servant against me, to lie in wait, as it is this day. Then answered Doeg the Edomite, who was set over the servants of Saul, and said, I saw the son of Jesse going to Nob, to Ahimelech the son of Ahitub. Verse 10, And he inquired of the Lord for him, gave him provisions, and gave him the sword of Goliath the Philistine. So the king sent to call Ahimelech the priest, the son of Ahitub, and all his father's house, the priests who were in Nob. And they all came to the king. And Saul said, Hear now, son of Ahitub. And he answered, Here I am, my lord. Then Saul said to him, Why have you conspired against me, you and the son of Jesse, in that you have given him bread and a sword, and have inquired of God for him, that he should rise against me to lie in wait, as it is this day? So Ahimelech answered the king and said, And who among all your servants is as faithful as David, who is the king's son-in-law? who goes at your bidding, and is honorable in your house. Did I then begin to inquire of God for him? Far be it from me. Let not the king impute anything to his servant, or to any in the house of my father. For your servant knew nothing of all this, little or much. And the king said, You shall surely die, Ahimelech, you and all your father's house. Then the king said to the guards, who stood about him, Turn and kill the priests of the Lord, because their hand also is with David, and because they knew when he fled and did not tell it to me. But the servants of the king would not lift their hands to strike the priests of the Lord. And the king said to Doeg, You turn and kill the priests. So Doeg the Edomite turned and struck the priests, and killed on that day eighty-five men who wore a linen ephod. Also Nob, the city of the priests, he struck with the edge of the sword both men and women, children and nursing infants, oxen and donkeys and sheep, with the edge of the sword. Verse 20. Now one of the sons of Ahimelech, the son of Ahitub, named Abiathar, escaped and fled after David. And Abiathar told David that Saul had killed the Lord's priests. So David said to Abiathar, I knew that day, when Doeg the Edomite was there, that he would surely tell Saul, I have caused the death of all the persons of your father's house. Stay with me, do not fear. For he who seeks my life seeks your life, but with me you shall be safe. 1 Samuel chapter 23, verse 1 Then they told David, saying, Look, the Philistines are fighting against Keilah, and they are robbing the threshing floors. Therefore David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go and attack these Philistines? And the Lord said to David, Go and attack the Philistines and save Keilah. But David's men said to him, Look, we are afraid here in Judah. How much more then if we go to Keilah against the armies of the Philistines? Then David inquired of the Lord once again. 
And the Lord answered him and said, Arise, go down to Keilah, for I will deliver the Philistines into your hand. And David and his men went to Keilah and fought with the Philistines, struck them with a mighty blow, and took away their livestock. So David saved the inhabitants of Keilah. Now it happened, when Abiathar the son of Ahimelech fled to David at Keilah, that he went down with an ephod in his hand. And Saul was told that David had gone to Keilah. So Saul said, God has delivered him into my hand, for he has shut himself in by entering a town that has gates and bars. Then Saul called all the people together for war to go down to Keilah to besiege David and his men. When David knew that Saul plotted evil against him, he said to Abiathar the priest, Bring the ephod here. Verse 10. Then David said, O Lord God of Israel, your servant has certainly heard that Saul seeks to come to Keilah to destroy the city for my sake. Will the men of Keilah deliver me into his hand? Will Saul come down, as your servant has heard? O Lord God of Israel, I pray, tell your servant. And the Lord said, He will come down. Then David said, Will the men of Keilah deliver me and my men into the hand of Saul? And the Lord said, They will deliver you. So David and his men, about six hundred, arose and departed from Keilah, and went wherever they could go. Then it was told Saul that David had escaped from Keilah. So he halted the expedition, and David stayed in strongholds in the wilderness, and remained in the mountains in the wilderness of Ziph. Saul sought him every day, but God did not deliver him into his hand. So David saw that Saul had come out to seek his life, and David was in the wilderness of Ziph in a forest. Then Jonathan, Saul's son, arose and went to David in the woods and strengthened his hand in God. And he said to him, Do not fear, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find you. You shall be king over Israel, and I shall be next to you. Even my father Saul knows that. So the two of them made a covenant before the Lord. And David stayed in the woods, and Jonathan went to his own house. Then the Ziphites came up to Saul at Jabeah, saying, Is David not hiding with us in strongholds in the woods? in the hill of Hachilah, which is on the south of Jeshimon, verse 20. Now therefore, O king, come down according to all the desire of your soul to come down, and our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hand. And Saul said, Blessed are you of the Lord, for you have compassion on me. Please go and find out for sure, and see the place where his hideout is, and who has seen him there. For I am told he is very crafty. See therefore, and take knowledge of all the lurking places where he hides, and come back to me with certainty, and I will go with you. And it shall be, if he is in the land, that I will search for him throughout all the clans of Judah. So they arose and went to Ziph before Saul. But David and his men were in the wilderness of Maion, in the plain on the south of Jeshimon. When Saul and his men went to seek him, they told David. Therefore he went down to the rock and stayed in the wilderness of Maon. And when Saul heard that, he pursued David in the wilderness of Maon. Then Saul went on one side of the mountain, and David and his men on the other side of the mountain. So David made haste to get away from Saul, for Saul and his men were encircling David and his men to take them. But a messenger came to Saul, saying, Hasten and come, for the Philistines have invaded the land. Therefore Saul returned from pursuing David and went against the Philistines, so they called that place the Rock of Escape. Then David went up from there and dwelt in strongholds at En Gedi. 1 Samuel chapter 24, verse 1. Now it happened, when Saul had returned from following the Philistines, that it was told him, saying, Take note, David is in the wilderness of En Gedi. Then Saul took three thousand chosen men from all Israel and went to seek David and his men on the rocks of the wild goats. So he came to the sheepfolds by the road, where there was a cave, and Saul went in to attend to his needs. David and his men were staying in the recesses of the cave. Then the men of David said to him, This is the day of which the Lord said to you, Behold, I will deliver your enemy into your hand, that you may do to him as it seems good to you. And David arose and secretly cut off a corner of Saul's robe. Now it happened afterward that David's heart troubled him because he had cut Saul's robe. And he said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do this thing to my master, the Lord's anointed, to stretch out my hand against him, seeing he is the anointed of the Lord. So David restrained his servants with these words, and did not allow them to rise against Saul. 
and Saul got up from the cave and went on his way. David also arose afterward, went out of the cave, and called out to Saul, saying, My lord the king. And when Saul looked behind him, David stooped with his face to the earth and bowed down. And David said to Saul, Why do you listen to the words of men who say, Indeed, David seeks your harm? Verse 10. Look, this day your eyes have seen that the Lord delivered you today into my hand in the cave, and someone urged me to kill you. But my eye spared you, and I said, I will not stretch out my hand against my Lord, for he is the Lord's anointed. Moreover, my father, see, yes, see the corner of your robe in my hand, for in that I cut off the corner of your robe and did not kill you. Know and see that there is neither evil nor rebellion in my hand, and I have not sinned against you. Yet you hunt my life to take it. Let the Lord judge between you and me, and let the Lord avenge me on you. But my hand shall not be against you. As the proverb of the ancients says, Wickedness proceeds from the wicked, but my hand shall not be against you. After whom has the king of Israel come out? Whom do you pursue? A dead dog? A flea? Therefore let the Lord be judge, and judge between you and me, and see and plead my case, and deliver me out of your hand. So it was, when David had finished speaking these words to Saul, that Saul said, Is this your voice, my son David? And Saul lifted up his voice and wept. Then he said to David, You are more righteous than I, for you have rewarded me with good, whereas I have rewarded you with evil, and you have shown this day how you have dealt well with me. For when the Lord delivered me into your hand, you did not kill me. For if a man finds his enemy, will he let him get away safely? Therefore, May the Lord reward you with good for what you have done to me this day. Verse 20. And now I know indeed that you shall surely be king, and that the kingdom of Israel shall be established in your hand. Therefore swear now to me by the Lord that you will not cut off my descendants after me, and that you will not destroy my name from my father's house. So David swore to Saul, and Saul went home. But David and his men went up to the stronghold. This concludes 1 Samuel chapters 22 through 24 for day 88. We hope you are enjoying these daily videos. Remember to check the description box for links and resources. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps spread God's word to reach more people on YouTube. We'll see you in the next video for our day 89 reading.